man, I tell you, this is, this is my kind of luck right here. <laughs> Jesus. So <clears throat> I decided to start carrying brake influence. That way they were when I built someone a motor and then they come pick it up and they're like, hey, what kind of oil should I use to break this motor in with? I'm like, hey, here, I have some that I carry. How about you buy it from me? Type thing. So I get my first order of it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to call the company out that I got it from because this is my first order from them. I've never had any dealings with them before this, so I'm going to go with, we'll see how they take care of it. We'll see what they do and I'll make an assessment from that. But anyways, all these bottles here, they are awful shiny if you happen to notice. It's cause they're covered in oil. <laughs> it looks like the seal on this one broke. It's a lot lower than it should be. But the box is soaked in oil and they were all in a plastic bag in here which is crappy way to ship it. Here, let me go grab that. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This plastic bag here. It's all that was protecting the oil bottles when it got shipped in this box. <laughs> so I open it up and this thing's caked with oil inside of it. Like it's just oil and everything. <sighs> but it seems to be just that one bottle, which I, I've took photos of everything and sent them to them. It's like, hey, it looks like maybe one of them busted open. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to resell that one. Oh, lordy, lordy. So we'll see how they handle it, but this is my kind of luck. I decide to do something and what I get is broken. <laughs> I have to say, what am I actually carrying? <laughs> so I've actually got the driven, the Joe Gibbs break in oil for motors. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's like trusted by top builders, ZDP fortified cam protection, chemically seals, piston rings. I'm assuming it already got the ZDP in it. If so, I got this for a killer steal. Like I'm gonna be able to sell this fairly cheap. I think I'm gonna do maybe fifty dollars a motor, <laughs> basically. Is what I think I'm gonna charge for it for what I paid for it. But anyways, that's really good because now you don't have to buy the ZDP or any of the zinc additive, whatever brand you want to go with. But you know, ZDP is what I always bought. So, and it's already in this stuff. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, again, back to work. All right, all right. So finally getting some things done around here. Um, the guy came. If you can see behind me, the 400 is missing. So that's been paid for. That's been picked up. Um, I also sold him on, uh, I think I said something about this in the video yesterday. I don't remember if I did or not. I got to quit looking at that screen over there and look at the barrel. But anyways, sold him. I think of the break-in fluid that I just ordered and started carrying. So that's a positive. I also ordered a set of valve covers off of me. I got, got I upsold him a couple different things today, which was pretty awesome. Um, He's also signing on. His buddy is going to buy that 406. He said he's going to come give me a down payment on it. As soon as he gets his next, these are tree service guys. So as soon as they get their next job, he's going to come give me a down payment on that. So that's awesome. That'll be some more money in the bank. Get another motor out of here that I built a long time ago. Um, supposedly, another guy came in, asked me, and he needs a 4.3. And funny enough, I just happened to have a bottom end of a 4.3 already built here in the shop. So things are getting better. Things are getting much better than the last... God, that 4.7 seven's gone. Thank God. But anyways, um, let's see here. I'm tearing down a 350 LT1, which also happens to be the first V8 I ever stomped in a car before in my life. I, have, I had a 95 Camaro growing up. But unfortunately, my grandparents bought it for me as my first car kind of thing. It was a repo, used car, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, it was still nice. It still looked brand new. It only had like 13,000 miles on it or something like that when it got repoed. But anyways, it had the 3.4 cylinder in it, or 3.4 cylinder, Jesus Christ, the 3.0 liter six cylinder in it, and it was slow. It was really, really slow. But anyways, my girlfriend in high school, though, had a Z28, which had that LT1 that I'm going to be building in it. And that was my first taste of uh, power. Not really. <laughs> it doesn't really have power. I think it was 275 horsepower or something like that. It was terrible. But anyways, it was a lot more than like the 100 and whatever it was that came in that 3.4 liter. But moving on. Um, I got a set of 906 crate heads. I've got to machine the Vortex Chevrolet. Um, I don't have the springs yet. But I've ordered them. 
and I need to get the machine done. I told the guy that I'd try to have them done by Friday. It's Wednesday, so that's very feasible. Um, and I'm going to get on to tearing that motor down and getting those heads off of that other motor so I can machine them and get those to that guy. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, talk to the guy with the LT1. Oh, there we go. The LT1 350 down here that I'm already halfway through disassembling. And I think I talked him into doing a 6 liter LS swap instead. That's going to be a lot cooler. But it kind of puts me on hold now on this motor. So we'll see. I guess I'm going to tear it the rest of the way down. But probably not today because I'm going to go home. But I don't really know what to say about that. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to go look for a 6 liter tonight. Uh, I got the other guy, Doug, that I work with. He's looking for a 6 liter also. He said he thinks he's already got one lined up. And then the guy said he's going to search also tonight. And we're going to talk again tomorrow and see what we all found, who got the best deal, yada, yada, yada. And hopefully start building a 6 liter for this guy. I think that's going to be a lot cooler. Like, I might actually go to Doug's shop and record it being installed and swapped and all that good stuff. I think that would be a cool video to have. But anyways, um, I'm going home. Good night. Alright, another vlog. Edits in. This is where I have to do the whole rundown of over here is a like button. You hit that. That'll help the algorithm out so other people can watch this video other than just Maybe the one or two people that are seeing it right now. There's a comment section right here. Click on that. That way there you can argue with me over what you disliked about this video. And maybe other people will comment. And then they will argue against your argument. Comment sections. They're out of control. Anyways, subscribe button right over here. Make sure you hit that. Ring the bell. That way there you get all the notifications. Everything I'm uploading. I will talk to you guys later.